let me know who is here. My name is Najera. I'm an empowerment coach. I'm coming to you from the park in Miami, Florida. I really enjoy the outdoors and I, you know, it's one, it's my, one of my happy places is to go to a park where it's green, trees. So who's here? You want, just tell me your name, where you're from. Okay, so I, I actually, I wasn't sure I was going to do this scope today. Um, but I thought, you know what, why not? Um, there's no time like the present moment. So I really wanted to, I wasn't sure what I was going to talk about today, but then really what's been on my mind, and I think that's been all over social media since last night was the passing of Dr. Wayne Dyer, the spiritual teacher, author who has affected many of us lives around the world. So I thought, you know, in the thing is that I have to say, and I shared that with a friend earlier through text, I hadn't realized how much he had impacted my spiritual journey. I mean, I read his, some of his books. I would listen to his things. I, would, um, I actually got a chance to see him the day that I, my last day at my 9 to 5 job, when I took the leap and decided to step out into faith and do my own thing, I remember I had registered for an I Can Do It conference at the time I was living in Washington, D.C. And the day, the Friday, which was my last day at work, that was the day that the I Can Do It conference was starting. And the evening, it was that night because it was like the way it was, is like Friday, it's evening in the evening, and then fr Saturday all day, and Sunday, I think it's like half of the day. So either way, it just so happens like, so that evening, it was just him was going to speak about wishes fulfilled. So, um, you know, and I have to say, like, for me, it was really following my passion, what I really wanted to do. And at the time, I have to say, I wasn't even clear what it was. I just knew this wasn't it. I had uh, some different ideas, but it wasn't all really clear and one thing is that, you know, his quote, don't die with your music still inside you was so powerful about finding your passion, finding that thing that is really steering in your soul that is calling you. And that has been sort of like really been guiding me and also I've inspired, you know, I'm inspiring others to do the same. So I've often shared that quote. But one of the things is that when I found about his passing last night, it was just, you know, kind of strange how the day before something happened where there was somebody who said something in, you know, somebody that, I mean, I barely know her, but when she, you know, said saying something about my work and the people I work with, I just thought, wow, like in another setting, you know, a few years ago, I probably would have taken it personally I would have gotten upset. I would have allowed my ego in. Hi, the confident you. How are you? Thanks for joining. Thanks for the heart. So a few, you know, a few years ago, I would have got, hello, how are you? Thanks for joining. Yeah, so a few years ago, I was saying that, you know, when the person made the comment about my work and who I work with, that we were doing some deep therapy I'm a coach. I empower women to really step into their power. I help them become confident, reconnect with themselves after a breakup. And sometimes maybe, you know, for them and not even be out of their breakup. Because I know for myself, I went through it, which is about embracing your true self, speaking your truth, giving up your need to be liked. And at the time when the person said that, it was through a message, I actually... I didn't take any offense on it because I realized, okay, that's her thing. I'm not going to go there. And when I shared that with somebody, she was like, oh, my God, oh, my God. And I was like, no, I'm not upset because I realized that I was not going to allow this to offend me. And, you know, what made me, it made me think about Dr. Wayne Dyer. And one of the things that, you know, one of his quotes says something, you know, whatever you allow offend you actually weakens you. And it was so weird how I realized, I was like, oh my God, I'm not letting this get to me. It's really not getting to me. I didn't even have to like do some work because you know how sometimes you might be upset about something and then you realize, oh, um, what am I doing? And then you're working it through, which is totally fine. But it was just so it became instant for me in that moment. 
And I have to say, he's somebody that I really valued that to the point that I'd be like, I don't know if I'll ever get there. But it was just so amazing, you know, in a way I'm, you know, I didn't realize that his debt would have touched me like that. I mean, I'm sad, but I also am so grateful that he really, you know, he really changed so many lives. He changed my life and we can keep going and really like, you know, his legacy is going to be alive with us. And I got a chance to hear him speak. That was so powerful. And you just, you know, looking at the different quotes, seeing how people are really, you know, talking about how he touched their lives and all of that and the different quotes. And I'm really seeing how these are the things that I've like applied in my life, how, you know, whatever people do, it's their karma. And what the way I react to it is my own, like all of these things that I've been seeing about following our passions and, you know, really take, you know, stepping up and being love which I think he's a true symbol of love and light. And I think it's so important because one of the things that I do in my work is I I really work with women, especially the ones after a breakup, about letting go with love, forgiving your ex, and just being the love. Because I believe that when we're being love, when we let go with love, that's when not only we become our highest and truest self, which I believe we're all love, often we get lost, But also that's how we can really attract the things that we want in our lives. We can truly be happy. We can experience true joy, peace, and love. And it's just that, you know, so it's been sort of like a full circle. And I was like, wow, I didn't even realize that um, this guy had so much influence in my own journey. It's like I've followed his work, but I hadn't realized how he had really impacted me and impacted my work and what I do with people and who I want to show up as. So I just thought it was so great to like really get that. And I know there are times where I've had doubts about my path. I've had doubts about, oh my God, this is because it's not a walk in the park, having your own business, being a coach. It's, it's, it's work and it's a lot of inner work. You're having to deal with doubts and trusting yourself and all of that and he also you know one of the things that I got from his passing especially seeing and you know the quotes and me you know sharing what I've gotten and realized that I started this journey that I'm on with him hearing him speak and being inspired by his work that no keep going keep going like yeah and one of the things that I really got is that you know how they say I feel like I have so many things to say and I thought I probably need to do different scopes. But it's sort of like one of the things that I'm really getting is that being alive, following your passion, it's not just going to be all pretty and all like a bliss and fantasy or it's really about you get to experience everything in life. You get to experience the the dark, the light. And everything, that's what being alive is. Being alive is really being, experiencing everything, being at one with everything. Because it's, you know, life is ebb and flow. So we're going to go through our ups and downs. But it's really just staying our path and following, being true to ourselves. And doing our best as much as we can to choose love and forgiveness. And to really, you know, look at people like Wayne Dyer and the way he touched our lives the way he inspired us to really be great so i thought i'd share that um do you guys have anything to say what you know please you know we have we still have some time i don't have to leave the park anytime so what did you get from this have you did you are you familiar with his work did you did anything you know come up for you when you found out about his dad okay Well, I, anyway, I just wanted to really share that and really share that with you. I wanted to also, that was my way of honoring him and really saying how I'm I'm thankful. I'm grateful. Yeah. I love his, I love his work and have been a fan. I know definitely he is really, um, he's just amazing. Like I shared on my Facebook, one of my Facebook stuff today is that he's a true symbol of love and light. He's just, um, he's an angel and I know He's watching over all of us, definitely. Well, again, so I'll say, you know, my name is Najeda. I'm an empowerment coach. I help women reconnect with themselves. 
after a breakup, I help them feel confident, alive, empowered, and at ease. I really help them go within and really embrace who they are because that's been my journey as well. Really embracing who I am, embracing my love of not only life, I love to dance. No dance parties today because I'm at the park, so there's no radio. I don't have a radio or anything to play. But um, so that's what I do, and I'd love to connect with you. And there are two ways that you can connect with me. I have my Facebook uh, group, which is called, it's a closed group. It's um, Love and Light Community. How can we get in contact with you? Yes. So the way you can get in contact with me, let me see. I don't know. Maybe people can't hear me. Let me just use this in case because I know I'm outside. So the way you can get in contact with me is through my Facebook group where I help women who are going through some struggle in relationships, either after a breakup or they could be in a relationship right now. But they are dealing with some identity issue in terms of like not knowing who they are instead of what society tells them to do. Um, my Facebook group is called Love and Light Community. It's a fun place. We have, you know, I want to have dance parties and I share tips. I give some laser coaching. Love and Light Community on Facebook. And another way to connect with me. Yes, that's what it is. Definitely. You got it. Love and Light Community. And another way, yes, is to, uh, you can reach out to me. I have, actually, if anybody's going through a breakup, I also have seven tips to help you recover from a breakup. That's going on. You need to join my email list if you visit my website, love, light, love, love, light coaching dot com, love, light coaching dot com. You just put in your your name and your email and you get instant access to the seven tips that help you recover from a breakup. See, those, these are the two ways that you can connect with me. Also on Twitter, I have the same handle as here, love at love, light coach. I'd love to connect with you. And until next time, thank you for coming. Thank you for being here. And let's just really, let's be the light. Let's share our unique light with the world as, you know, our dear friend, brother, the spiritual teacher, the, our angel looking over us right now, Dr. Wayne Dyer did. Okay. So until next time, love and light. Thank you.